Yeah, it's magical up here. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Nuts and Bulls. Hanging out with Mark today. We're at the uh, Buffalo Forest Trail. It's oh, a hunting trail, he said. And a uh, mountain biking trail. So as you can see, there's hikers here. So we don't want to be going too fast through this area. The weather is awesome up here. It's nice and cool. And there are canopies here pretty much the whole way. So this is the main road. And there's another walking trail that goes that way in the corner, but then this is our trail. But we're okay. going to go to this to where it loops back to this road. So this is where we're, what we're, we were just on then, yeah? These trails pretty much crisscross this road. This road will take you to Hosmer's Grove. No. All the way up. This one? Yeah. What? I've never been. I've only, I've only Dude, walked. Dude, we got to hit it. It kind of gets grown over, but it's a state road. They, they maintain it to this level. So I know most of it, but there's a couple spots I might have to stop. Uh, damn, dude. We can ride it all the way to Hosmer's. The Hosmer's Grove is on the way up to Haleakala Crater. Quite a ways away from where we are right now. A sick ride. But I thought we'd have enough battery power to get there. Oh, there's a thing. A random, a random girl in the middle of the woods sitting down. <laughs> on the way down from this ride, we ended up seeing her again, just laying flat on her back on the middle of the trail. tall enough because then we just have to get out this one. You don't have your switch on me? <laughs> no. Could be a big really? prop in there. One, one, three, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Higher than this one. That's good for now. Oh, yeah. Makes a nice arch. All right, you want to try that one? Right. On three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. We could probably get under there. I feel like I could probably get under there. Oh yeah. Just get off the bike. There you go. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah, so it starts getting more and more native. Yeah, I can As tell. We get up here, it's pretty cool. 
Oh, you mean the plants? Yeah. You're a botanist, or? Uh, yeah, I have a biology degree. Biology. So I, in Hawaii, I've been a botanist. Thanks. Right. Yeah. So you can name all of these plants then. A lot of them. I mean, what we see here is guava. This is all strawberry guava, super invasive. That's koa, the remaining koa forest, otherwise known as Hawaiian mahogany, which I don't like that name, but yeah. And as we get up here, it's it gets more and more koa. And then we'll go to the spot that's, there's like at least five or seven native trees. There's different types. Oh, see, look, the Papalake Pao is flowering. Papalake Pao? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Keep going so we can't go no more. Yeah. I'm down. I might want to take a little smoke break though. Smoke break? Yeah. And I want to look at my. Uh... Is it 420 already? It's always 420. Oh, it's always 420. Yeah, it's magical up here. Not many people come up here. The bushes you see here, both on the, the left and the right, uh, with those yellow flowers, they're just really vast. It covered the majority of the landscape. And uh, with all those yellow flowers kind of popping up everywhere, they're really nice. But uh, Mark was saying they're really invasive. So the road is right there then? The other, like if you keep going, yeah, the, okay, I've never done this, this is great. Actually, no, no, I, I, these are all a mix. That tree's gonna fall over and block this whole road. That's a koa. Yeah, but this road's clearly well, well maintained. Yeah. If you're enjoying this video, please leave a like. It really helps uh, spread my video to other people. And uh, leave a comment. Uh, ask me a question, I'll usually answer uh, all the questions. And uh, subscribe if you, you don't want to miss another future episode. <laughs> Good idea. Stay back. There's like big rocks here. You get stuck on them. Uh oh. <laughs> I caught you good. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> it, it was like perfectly timed. <laughs> <laughs>
shit. Too bad you didn't catch it on film. Every island has a power belt. Uh -huh. At about 3,000 feet, it's just a belt of power. Oh, really? Uh -huh. That's where they love to grow? Yeah. And here we are. They, they are suffocated, yeah, by all these. Oh, yeah. And that's an ohia, a baby one. But this is, every mature tree in this forest is native. I don't know if that's toa, but... Is right that here, lau, that's not lauhala, yeah? No, that's the uh, uh, uluhe. Uluhe. It's a, uh, just a gnarly fern. But there's some tree ferns in here, too. Hapu'u, I just saw. The black ones. Is it, see this, that one? This is cool. Besides the ginger and the grasses, everything else is native. Mm. Great. It's harder to see on Maui. So this is the first time using the drone in kind of an enclosed space with that active track uh, function. I didn't want to go too fast because the uh, last time I did it in open space, uh, it lost track of me. It's pretty cool how it uh, detects uh, the things around it and it, it kind of just avoids them automatically. Right here it's about to go right into a tree and then whoop, it goes right under it. So cool. Oh look at that. Well, I guess. We finally found a no sign. <laughs> Private property. Someone owns it. EMI. So, you know what that means. What's EMI? EMI. That's the road to Hana. Yeah, we're headed to Hana. I thought so. This road will go all the way to Kanai. Wow. My guess. And that road will go all the way to Hosmer's, the last one. Because we're going east according to my maps and I feel the vibe of east because the coast you can see the water through there, yeah? So the one where the cow is at, that's the one that goes to Hosmer's you're saying? You're thinking? Not the cow. Uh, the one that said hunter vehicles not allowed. I think that goes up. The one, and yes, maybe the, the ranch also parallels that road where the cow was, probably goes up too. What are you guys catching? Butterfly hunters? <laughs> uh, uh, something like that, yeah. Butterfly. Twice. Nice. What, what kind? Twice. Flies? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> cool. For a science project? I'm a biologist too, so I used to catch birds and mosquitoes. Oh, very nice. Yeah, for the, on the Big Island. Huh. For the avian malaria project. Oh, oh that's the, cool. That part of the Palila project? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who did you work with? Uh, Carter Atkinson and Dennis uh, LaPointe were the... Oh, yeah. But then I worked with the guys right under them. This guy, Matt Ryder. Oh, I don't know him. I yeah. know Carter and Dennis. So are you guys doing... Why are you catching flies? Are you testing for the presence of XYZ? We're... Um, we study the native Hawaiian Drosophila, so, so we're looking at... Oh, there's the, a native uh, Drosophila? Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. There's like a thousand of them. What? So there's tons. Will we find them in our kitchens? No, yeah. you'll just find them up here in the forest. And what are they eating in the forest? All the native trees. Hmm. So the native trees and native shrubs and things, so... Because I know there's not a lot of fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, the Claremontia fruit will we'll sometimes... We that. just saw that last one down there that was blooming. But it, we just missed oh, the bloom. Big, with the big yeah. orange fruits. Yeah, yeah, those are cool. I was telling him if it was flowering, it would have been a sight to see. There are some flowers around. Cool. Yeah. Oh, up too. It says no vehicles. Perfect. It looks like vehicle tracks. It looks like vehicle tracks.
We could ride through here too. There's a low spot right here. Where does it go? I have no idea. It's probably pretty thick though. Right. Check it out, see if we can go. Nope, big tree. What? It's a big log. So this is pretty much the end of the ride, and uh, we head back towards our car. Um, we do get lost for a few minutes, and then we make it back safe and sound. But this is going to be the end of the show. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.